हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन वेलकम टू माय चैनल क्रैक गेट सी एस ई एंड इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ एल्गोरथम वी आर लर्निंग अबाउट दी एनालिसिस ऑफ एल्गोरथम सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ एनालिसिस ऑफ एल्गोरथम एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दी पोस्ट वेरी एनालिसिस एंड प्रायरी एनालिसिस सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट प्रायर सो दिस एनालिसिस इज डन बिफोर रनिंग ऑन द सिस्टम प्रायर टू रनिंग ऑन एनी सिस्टम एंड पोस्ट वेरी एनालिसिस इज डन after running on a specific system so prior analysis done on the prior analysis is done prior to running the algorithm on any system while the post train analysis is done after running on the specific system now the second thing is that the post train analysis depends on the language of compiler and hardware why does it depends on the language of compiler and hardware because we are using it on a specific system and for that particular specific system the language of a compiler and hardware of a compiler might be different than any other system for example i am using a a uh, system with a 8 gb ram or 16 gb ram there might be a chance that some other user is using a 4 gb ram system so this way it depends on the language of compiler as well as on the hardware why the prior analysis is independent of language because we are analyzing the particular algorithm before running on the system so if we are not running it on any of the system how it can depend on the any language or a hardware in post query analysis we are able to get the exact values or exact answer because we are running the algorithm on a specific system and we are when we are running the algorithm on a specific system it is possible to get the is exact value why the prior analysis has not been done on any of the system this is just an assumption so this will give a approximate value the the post query analysis is not generally used because in an it company the software is generally made for the anonymous user which are using the different system that is some might be using a 16 gb ram some might be using a 8 gb ram some might be using a pentium processor some might be using pentium processor and some might be using i7 so because of all these things we cannot conclude that the analysis of the algorithm is correct for all of the user that's why we are not generally using the post query analysis but the prior analysis gives a generally same values it generally gives the same values for all the system because it does not conclude it does not provide the exact answer it gives us just the approximate values so the best to use the prior analysis so friends in the next video we are going to learn about the analysis of loop and i will let you know that what kind of loops we have to use how to find out the time complexity and everything so that is a different thing so please guys subscribe to my channel give a thumbs up do comments on this video and if you have any suggestion suggestions are always welcome please share this video with your friends keep supporting keep learning thank you very much